It's the first time Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's Frances Harding has visited Guam. She is the agency's Center for Substance Abuse Prevention Director and is on island for a listening and learning tour. And I'm here to do a programmatic overview and to bring greetings from SAMHSA, the acronym, and to learn as much as we can about our service delivery and our, our islands in the Pacific. Are they having any problems with the implementation of their grants and learning more about their traditions and how we better conserve them. Guam is one of five islands Harding is visiting. She is meeting with leaders and stakeholders to learn more about mental health and substance abuse related services in hopes to meet their main goal of taking behavioral health and connecting it to overall health. What I was talking about was substance abuse, mental health, mental illness, a mental health promotion, and overall health and how we connect and that we are losing too many people to knock for substance abuse and mental health disorders and not looking at the overall connection with health. Already she's seen a reoccurring problem within all five jurisdictions she's visited. The biggest problem is uh, drinking, uh, underage drinking particularly for our youth. That's where most of our money is focused because we're in the pre world of prevention. Meanwhile, additional problems on island include tobacco and betel nut use. She says the challenge is the need for more technical assistance and training so that the workforce is certified. Despite the obstacles, Harding says there are many accomplishments. The good uh, is that people in all of the islands that we are have been visiting are really doing fantastic work. They are taking the strategies and the intent of all of our money and actually looking at the programming and meeting the needs, the most needed of the populations, and we're, we couldn't be happier. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.